Madam President and members of the Council, Mr. Secretary General, thank you for the opportunity to take part in this important briefing. Latest developments in UNISPA. The UN Interim Security Force for RBA is in its 10th year of operations since it was established in 2011. The improved relationship between our two host countries, Sudan and South Sudan, have not yet translated into progress towards finding a political solution for the final status for RBA. Challenges to protection of civilians and mandate implementation in general remain, among them, limited rule of law structures, human rights violation, impediments to humanitarian assistance, and the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. AMPO continues to mitigate the situation in ABA in line with UNISPA's mandate, the United Nations Action for Peacekeeping Initiative, and the United Nations Women, Peace, and Security Agenda. Brief analysis. UN Security uh, Resolution Council 1990 of 2011 initially mandated AMPO to help establish the ABA police service. But this has not been realized to date as several invitations to the relevant parties to jointly plan for the police service have not been honored. In the absence of ABA police service, United Nations Security Council Resolution 2205 of 2015 authorized UNISPA to enhance the capacities of the voluntary community protection committees. AMPO currently works with 31 community protection committees and one joint protection committee stations, comprising of 767 members, including 132 females in the delivery of protection of civilians. Activities include gender responsive community interactive patrols, prevention and protection of women and girls from sexual and gender based violence, monitoring of human rights compliance, as well as training and capacity building for maintenance of law and order, respect of human rights, gender and child protection and community oriented policing. Progress in protection of civilian mandate implementation. Despite UNISPA's continued role in the maintenance of public order, prevention of crime and protection of vulnerable populations, the presence of armed elements in the communal clashes and cattle razoring continue to negatively impact the missionist mandate implementation. The transhumans migratory system uh, that is between October and April is especially a problematic. The missionist response to these threats include AMPO and military ground and area patrols, checkpoints, engagement with the local communities to foster dialogue and conflict resolutions. AMPO personnel deployed in seven out of 15 team sites monitor and report on violations of human rights and foster maintenance of public law and order. The missionist efforts have resulted in a reduction of acts of criminality and human rights violation. For instance, compared to last year, the current year saw a 60% reduction of arms related incidents, including a 62% reduction in the number of civilians killed. AMPO's efforts are hampered by the unwillingness of South Sudan to participate in a joint integrated planning exercise for the establishment of a BA police service, failure of both parties to review and endorse the memorandum of understanding on the handing over of suspects, reluctance by the Sudan to issue visas to AMPO personnel to enable the component to reach the authorized ceiling of 148 IPOs and to deploy three FPUs. This has hampered the missionary's effort to address criminality. The continued non-existence of the ABA police service has created a vacuum for local law enforcement. 
The lack of basic services such as water, health, education is also a criminal genet genetic factor. Regarding the situation in the three temporary detention facilities in ABA, uh, dilapidated structures and limited legal services have resulted in overcrowding, poor living conditions, and prolonged detention periods. Services for survivors of SDBV remain non existent, hence, the need to, uh, to establish referral pathways so that psychosocial counseling and legal services are made available to the survivors, mostly women and minors. Options for UNISPA to address the evolving situation. Building on the gain made by UNISPA so far, AMPO continues to actively engage the leaders of both communities in ABA and encourage them to resume dialogue for intercommunal peace. Recommendations. There is need for increased AMPO capacity through the deployment of three FPUs and additional IPOs from the current strength of 50 to authorized ceiling of 148 IPOs. I'm looking forward to a situation where a significant proportion of the unexpected FPU deployment will be female, as this will enhance the response to concerns and priorities of women and girls. In appreciation of the impact of Secretary General's gender parity strategy, I'm pleased to report that the police component in UNISFA has achieved 60% of female deployed in professional positions including SGBV advisor who is a lady and 34.7% in the IPOs category. I urge the council to impress upon the two governments to immediately establish the joint ABA police service. Moreover, the establishment of the Office of the Public Defender in ABA will facilitate judicial action and alleviate the conditions in the detention centers. The governments of Sudan and South Sudan should be encouraged to provide basic services across the ABA area. Meanwhile, AMPO continues to deliver on its mandate, adapting to realities on the ground. Thank you. Over to you.